starts from the very beginning with the director. You know, me and Danny worked a lot together on, on first starting with the concept and uh, really breaking it down scene by scene. It was the prep days uh, coming up to the days that we were shooting that was very difficult. I knew that it was going to be a huge monumental task, but at the same time, it was one of those things where it's sort of like um, the opportunity seemed too good to pass up. With the concept of uh, Invincible, I, I wanted to bring a, uh, a story about love. She has to go save her, her love interest to make sure this ship survives. What would you do if you're in that position? Will you go fight? Will you go actually go out there to, to find that person? And in most cases, yes. We had a great storyboard artist, uh, Aviota, to come on board to really sketch out everything. And really, she gave a, uh, a visual guideline for all the filmmakers just to look at and say, wow, OK, we know exactly what's going to come up next. In our original inception of the project, uh, Danny, he, the director, really wanted to, to work a lot of special effects involved in it. In fact, he wanted to do a majority of the spaceship and a lot of the interiors in special effects. But in the end, we, we talked about it and we decided it's, it'd be much more powerful to do it for real. You know, one of the reasons that we shot in, in Los Angeles was because of that. I told her that chances are I won't be able to do her music video. Just because of the fact that uh, it was just highly ambitious, there was some, something about it that was just over the top. And I just didn't think that we could do it. I think, I, I think the resources was already here. And uh, it made everything easier for myself, being the fact that my whole team was in, in the States. It, it would have cost probably more to, to fly everyone over. Uh, it just made sense. It just made sense at the end when I said, you know, what if I go to the States? First thing that clicked in my head was perfect. So the Invincible production days were tough. Um, they were three days of production. All three days was extremely difficult due to the, the amount of things that we had to shoot in those three days. Day one of filming um, was essentially a prep day. We had no actual cameras rolling on day one because it was a lot of setup. We had all of this the set, we had all this, this spaceship to deal with, and so many things had to get thrown together last minute. And up to that very day of, we were putting things together. Knowing the time frame that we had, Technical ran into a couple of issues, making sure that uh, they, they were a good crew, but they were definitely a very safe crew. In this case, pre-lighting was key because we did need to pre-light the spaceship. It was a back-to-back -back schedule, so there was very little leadway for error. You know, basically we had allotted eight hours, you know, eight hours to shoot, and we had eight hours worth of filming. We needed to see what uh, Hong Ka Standen looked like um, as she was backlit by certain lights, and you know, the, the color scheme, and you know, just just seeing how everything flowed together. And not only that, but we needed that extra time to actually really figure out the location and get everybody working together on the same page. In in that chaos. You really got to like focus and figure out like how to approach what's in, what my job would be. How do I approach what's in front of me? Like how do I light the scene? How do I set up the cameras? And how do this? And then on top of that, remembering all all the way back to the story idea. Like how does this work with the story? And and really just staying focused uh, and balancing like ten or fifteen different things at the same time. We were the first multimedia video project shot on this amazing camera, the Red Epic. Working on the Red Epic was. It was an amazing experience. It was, it was everything that I was hoping it would be. Without going into too much technical stuff, it, it basically provided an, an image that really matched what we were going for. What brought people together on this is we're doing something new for the very first time. I know this is just a music video, but we took it to a scale of wardrobe, locations, uh, set design, to, to really prove a point. Doing this for a, an untapped market in Vietnam is not only to say that we're actually trying to make a, 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 a stamp in history, but it's to say that, you know, we're no different from anyone else. Uh, cinema is, is a language of, of, you know, communication of people, and if we can communicate with each other through visuals, then, you know, we're, we could connect the world, and uh, that's probably what I believe in this, this music video can do for the future of, of Vietnam. Uh, today is just a pre-light lighting day. Uh, nothing but lighting uh, the set. Uh, as you can see, the, the set is not lit yet, and uh, a lot of it's really dark. But uh, what's going to happen in the next couple hours is this location is going to be filled with light. 
ready to shoot um, the Hong Kong Pass music video. This is actually Hong Kong Pass' first uh, American production music video that uh, is, uh, you know, at this scale. If we could get more time, you know, now that every every single hour is that valuable. You need two hours. If we can, you know, we had a little bit of a late start, but uh, we're just catching up. We got a, a lot of room for the shoot, um, so um, you know, we'll see. We'll see how uh, it all pans out. But it's good so far. I definitely want to start uh, turning on the fog and seeing what some of this looks like. I am wrapping a Kino tube with CTO color temperature orange. It is uh, going to allow me to turn these bulbs from their color temperature of 5600 to 3200. I think being around this set is, uh, just, I don't know, just geeking out over it so it makes the day that much better. I don't know. Um, okay, so yes, uh, if we can get a, a keynote green above. Uh, we're going so, uh, just uh, a little bit behind oh, schedule. Um, lights came in kind of late, so yes. we're just trying to make do with it. But the good thing is we get to stay a couple of extra hours, so that'll be okay. I wish we had um, the dolly that we ordered. Uh, that's coming in. Um, it's coming in an hour after we need it, but mm. we'll still, we still make do for it. I uh, concern for our dancers tomorrow. They got some pretty interesting moves as you guys will see throughout the video but I think uh, they'll make do with it and hope they uh, they'll, they'll look hot <laughs> for a young director also to, to pull this off it, there's a lot riding on it so we're, we're pretty excited her label trusts us we believe in our team and we can pull this off what am I working on I am gonna rig a light above those doors and I'm figuring out how I'm gonna hang it just finish sign some stuff just uh, get old Get a stand for lights. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then to keep them off the grid. Yeah, hard. so it doesn't melt stuff. Cool. I like the craziness, how it's just like full on music video and then the occasional phone calls, which drives me crazy. This is definitely one of the more organized and professional. Uh, shoots that I've been on, so yeah. You don't want to sit in the sitting room for too long, you know? We have to, I want to shoot that day, we have to shoot. Honestly, the biggest compromise is shooting on Euclid Street. That's the compromise. I, I hate it, it's real terrible, Yay. but that's why he was going to do some cool buildings and posts. Right now, looking good. We've got this uh, main stage set up. We're finishing up um, the last hallway, hallway E, and um, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. It's going to look great. behind the scenes of Invincible uh, music video. So, walk us away. Hey, give yourself about 10 seconds to the second mark. Get it? Get the music to 10? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. She's not actually doing this, right? Uh, no, not like this. <laughs> Close enough. Looks great. Looks great. We're only on her dad's move, right? No. Easy <laughs> peasy. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Nick. Okay, we got uh, another 30. She's getting dressed up and, you know, we're just gonna start Yeah, make, make up everything down. <coughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Với mong muốn là tất cả mọi người đều mong muốn đây là một trong những video clip mà sẽ mang đến một cái hình ảnh mới lạ cũng như là uh, có lẽ là mọi người sẽ ít khi tưởng tượng ra được là quay với một cái 
tóc như thế này, quần áo như thế này và ở trong studio giống như là mình ở một cái hành tinh khác tới thì có thể mọi người coi hoàn toàn nó rất là đơn giản nhưng mà nếu như mà khi mà xem xong những cái behind the scenes này thì mọi người sẽ thấy là sự đầu tư của tất cả mọi người cho video clip này là như thế nào thành ra là Hà thực sự rất là hy vọng là video clip này sẽ được mà mọi người chào đón và yêu mến cũng như là ghi nhớ những hình ảnh ở trong video clip này Ok, thì mình đã xong hôm nay À, cũng uh, sáng sớm ngày mai làm lại. Dạ. Yeah. Có gì quý vị coi thì mình, uh, mình sẽ tò mò mình, uh, tìm hiểu thêm của cái music video của tôi. Mình sẽ